My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is The Weekly Dumb. Jake, how do you do? Hola, como estas? Ah, uh, bien! Jimmy, I'm back. Back in the New York blues, a perfect gray 40 degree rainy new york city day it's what it's all about how are you easy with that i like when the fog is rolling in though like that movie your favorite movie the fog look at this it's a bad movie i think awful i'm more of a fan of the mist to the sports we go big news jim did you hear about this one Juan Soto, no, Yankees. Shohei Otani has signed 10 years, $700 million. That's a lot of simoleons to your Los Angeles Dodgers. $700 million is crazy ton of money. 70 per year, but they're spreading it out over the course of many years. We, we, don't, think. we don't know. Unprecedented deferments. So because Shohei said, I don't want to clog the payroll. I want you to... I want you to be able to sign other guys. What's a good unprecedented deferment? Like well, my dream one is the year after his contract, it all hits. Ooh, <laughs> that would be wild. So like $300 million player for one year. I've been saying 10 years, 25 mil a year, and then for 20 years, 22 mil. So they're paying him over the next 30 years. Uh, that would be unprecedented. That'd be unprecedented. The Dodgers can just like sell the team if they want and they right. don't want to. And also I saw some Dodgers fans tongue in cheek because they're obviously excited being like, yeah, great. Don't clog up our spend while you're here. Just do it after you leave. I'd want him to make the money while he's playing for the team. He wants the Dodgers to also be able to sign other players. Right. So it comes off as very uh, selfless. I don't want to take all the money. I want you to be able to spend other. It's like, well, no, because you also want to win. That's not selfless. It's a little selfish, but it's still good for everyone. It's selfish. It's shellfish. Addendum, addendum. Two mil a year. 68 million deferred. It's a loophole. Send him to, send him to jail. Tadpole, more like goldfish. Do it again. Hit Jake. Oh! What was this almost a breakdown you were telling the people about? Almost a breakdown is good. This deer broke into a New Jersey elementary school. And the escape was caught on the police body cams. What? And the opening shot of the escape yeah. is they're chasing the deer down the hallway with the flashlight. And I was like, turn on the lights. Yeah. I know they're probably hard to turn the lights on in some schools. It's probably just like a breaker or something. Someone should have just turned on the lights. Could have turned on the light pretty easily. And then it goes to the second scene and it's almost out of a movie. Like when you're you, when you're chasing a little kid and he's being obnoxious, the deer is just knocking every decoration down it as he walks like across a, the top of the like desk. It looks like a Reno 911 sketch yes. for a second. Yeah. The deer is literally like picking out individual things and knocking it over. And then eventually the deer got outside. Which it was going to do anyway, so... Do you think this was another viral marketing campaign by that movie that's doing shit with deer? Ad. Unfortunately, yes, that movie that's doing shit with deer. Speaking of ads... Don't you like my sweatshirt? It's Roback. I love Roback. The response in the episode. I have frozen my penis off is an article we're not doing, but we kept in the sheets. We're doing college hoops player locked a shot with his shoe. Honestly, man, a shoe. Oh. Oh. Movie reference. Perfect. Uh, your guy, Rashid Bello, 3, 2, 1. Eight. 6.8. Okay. He's a Mastodon's guard. 3, 2, 1. 2. 6.8. Mastodon! His shoe falls off, picks it up, blocks a shot with it. Completely legal. Pterodactyl. It's crazy that it's legal because you have more hand. It's very cool. But you take away from your foot. That's the trade. Well, just one socks get to the level they'll get to. This should be illegal. He has the shoe in his hand. He's playing defense. He's never blocked a shot before, they said. It's like his first block ever, I think. I could be getting that wrong. I think it was one block shot in this game. Yes. His only... He probably blocked a shot before. Plays basketball a lot. And I've always been your shoe toss guy. We're passing the shoe Jimmy, around. Jimmy, get him! You should have seen how accurate I was in middle school tossing my shoe at people. Nuts. And good job by the photographer whose name was... Maccabee Brown. <laughs> 10. <laughs> 10. I don't know how to judge it. Can you just read what that more sports story was going to be? Just the first sentence of it again? Yeah, it was, I have frozen my penis, says Swedish cross-country skier. Can you just skier. look into the camera and say that again? I have frozen my penis. Thank you. You were going to tell me this not sports story. A woman got shot in the buttocks. Mm -hmm. Forrest Gump style. After sliding into an MRI machine with loaded firearm. So I clicked the link and I'm like, how's this happen? Right. The magnets in the MRI machine pulled the trigger. Like the trigger was like, Ooh. it could have, could be sad. She just, she, she got shot in the buttocks. And how 
are there not just incredible warnings? I think there are. 57-year-old woman from Wisconsin set in the scene. You're in the corner with the shoe. Always has She's her guard 57. up. She stays strapped, apparently. Back hurts, maybe? A, how do you get in there? Because it's isn't the biggest thing with MRA machines. Don't bring mm. any... Any metal? I don't know. Or a gun. You ever done an MRI machine? Yes. It sucks. I didn't like it. Employee of the week. week. It's, it's the employee, employee of, of the week. week. I got to pass it off to you here. I was out of town. Oh, shit. I don't know. Say quoi. Hmm. Joe Jackson. She was... Uh, she was on shift on socials when the Otani trade happened, which was middle of the day on like a Saturday. And you're just kind of hoping nothing really big happens. And all of a sudden her whole day changed wildly and, uh, she crushed it. So Taylor Jackson gets employee of the week. I could also see that being like, you ever watch like the doctor shows? I've seen them. One of the doctor gets a good case and all the other doctors are jealous. They're like, Oh, you got the double lobotomy. Mm. It's like, Oh, you got the Shohei signing. That's kind of like my, when I was a delivery driver at Domino's right. and like I would get for Virginia and Iqbal would get uh 100 Poland Ave. That was a $10 tip every time. Boom. You son of a bitch, Iqbal. To make this noise make more sense, overlay a video of Jake jerking off. You want me to send you that? <laughs> or do you have one? That was a weekly dumb. Today's episode of the Weekly Demo was brought to you by Roback, the best fit, the best feel. They continue to bring a new meaning to the word quality. With several new pants, fleeces, and tees recently released, it keeps getting better over at Roback. So you can use the code DUMB at Roback.com for a generous 20% off your first order. That's spelled R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. 20% off your first order on all polos, quarter zips, hoodies, joggers, and more with code DUMB. Just in time for the holiday season. Guess what happens at the end? Sneezes. <laughs>